real numbers class 10th part 1 so in this chapter we learn about euclid's division lemma and the fundamental theorem of arithmetic euclid's division lemma means long or successive division the fundamental theorem of arithmetic means the prime factorization method so we'll also learn seven different theorems in this chapter so let's quickly revise what are real numbers with the help of a pizza as we know natural numbers are numbers starting from 1 to infinity whole numbers are numbers starting from 0 to infinity integers are negative and positive numbers with 0 rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed in the form of p upon q or numerator upon denominator where denominator should not be equal to 0 irrational numbers are the numbers that are represented in the form of non terminating non recurring decimals irrational numbers and rational numbers together constitute the real numbers so what is the difference between a lemma and an algorithm so as we know theorem is a mathematical statement which needs to be proven whereas lemma is a statement that is already proven and there is no need to prove it again algorithm is a series of well defined steps to solve a mathematical problem or question so for example how to make a sandwich is my question i have a lemma that cheese melts on heating so on the gas i'll keep a bread slice now i'm reading the algorithms for which i need to make a sandwich so algorithms are step 1 keep a sandwich for a sandwich keep a sandwich bread second place a slice of cheese third step again keep a slice of bread so these were the algorithms or steps to the problem how to make a sandwich so coming to euclid's division lemma and algorithm also theorems so theorem 1 is given that given positive integers a and b there exists unique integers q and r satisfying that a equals bq plus r r is the remainder b is the divisor q is the quotient and a is the dividend so they have also given a condition that the remainder should be either equal to or greater than 0 and the divisor should be greater than the remainder coming to euclid's division algorithm so now we just saw euclid's division lemma which was a equals bq plus r now we'll go to algorithm that is computing the hcf of two given positive integers so let's try to solve a question find the hcf of 135 and 225 So 225 is bigger than 135 so therefore i'll take the dividend as 225 let's solve this so i'll do successive division 225 we'll divide it by 135 so it is first quotient will be 1 i am getting the remainder is 90 now remainder is not equal to 0 so i'll divide again i'll take my previous divisor and make it the next dividend that is 135 divided by 90 so i'll again take 1 as the quotient 90 minus 90 next I'll get the remainder as forty-five, which is again not equal to zero. Thus, I'll take my previous divisor ninety and make it my next dividend. 
सो नाइंटी डिवाइड बाई फोर्टी फाइव गिवज मी द क्वेश्चन टू विथ रिमेंडर जीरो सो देर फोर आई कैन से दैट फोर्टी फाइव इज द एच सी एफ ऑफ वन थर्टी फाइव एंड टू ट्वेंटी फाइव so in this way we can compute the hcf of two numbers with the help of euclid's division algorithm so example 2 show that every positive even integer is in the form of pq 2q and that every positive odd integer is in the form of 2q plus 1 where q is some integer so let I solve this with the solution. Let a be any positive integer, and b be two. Then by Euclid's division lemma, we can say that a equals two q plus r. So for some integer, q is equal or greater than zero, and remainder is equal to zero. So or we can take that remainder is equal to one. Why? Because b or divisor is equal to two, and the numbers lesser than two are zero and one. Therefore, the remainder can be either zero or one. So, therefore, a equals either two q plus zero, or else it can be two q plus one. If a is in the form of two q, then a is an even integer. Why? because when i divide 2q by 2 it is divisible i will get q as the answer so therefore a positive integer can either be even or odd therefore any positive odd integer can be in the form of 2q plus 1 why because when i divide 2q plus 1 by 2 i am get i am not able to divide it why because i have plus 1 also here so let's solve a similar type of question here show that any positive odd integer is in the form of 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer so here they have given us that b is equal to 6 so therefore remainder can be either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 etc till 5 it cannot go more than 5 so therefore let's try a equals first one was 6q plus 1 6q plus 1 so we need to prove that this is an odd odd integer or odd number so I'll divide it by two. If it is divisible, then it will be even. If it is not divisible, it will be odd. So we can see this is not divisible. Why? Because of this plus one. Again, if I take a equals six q plus three by two, dividing it by two to prove it. Again, it is not divisible. Or, or simply, if I say, let's factorize this one. Three in bracket two q plus one. If I factorize also, I am not able to divide it by two. So therefore, this is odd. Again, taking a as six q plus five. Let's divide it by two. It is not divisible because of this five. Whereas if I take a is equal to six q plus two, where the remainder is two. And divided by two, I am able to divide it. How? Let's factorize and see. It will be two will come outside, which is common in both the both the terms. And inside, I'll take three q plus one. So if I divide this by two, two and two can get cancelled, and I'll get the answer as three q plus one. So therefore, I can write the answer as. Six q plus one, six q plus three, and 
सिक्स क्यू प्लस फाइव आर ऑड इन टीचर्स सो इट इज द सेम थैंक यू